So this weekend, I'm invited to a farmer's market. I guess that's the question. Are we talking about farming supplies? Because I'm not a farmer. I don't farm things. I wouldn't know. Like, I don't need a... What are the big rakes and the, the tractor equipment? I guess they do crops. But no, it turns out it's a it's like a it's like a parking lot where they sell vegetables, right? It's like uh, they just set up shop. It's like a flea market for produce, from what I understand. Now I don't eat vegetables. Steve Weiner here from GetRubix.com, and today we're going to take a look at how you can write your own custom logs when you deploy a script or an app, so that you can collect them in the Intune Diagnostics. No, forget it. But I'll tell you what, a flea market, now that's something, you know, you go to a flea market, you don't know what you're going to find. That's that's a party right there. Get Rubik's, solving for the modern workplace. Okay, so talking about collecting logs from Intune devices, um, I want to start by talking about the built-in native way to collect logs. So if we go to devices, and I have a device right here, right? And uh, we'll just, whatever, we'll use that as a test bed, kind of. Um, let's look it up. It's serial number 4100. That's, this is one of my zero touch devices. Okay, so if I wanted to know what was going on with this device, I'm gonna go ahead and hit collect diagnostics right up here in the device overview. And it's gonna to attempt to pull certain things. And I'm gonna hit yes. And then we go to device diagnostics and we just wait for that to upload. And depending on if the device is online or not, could take five, 10, 15 minutes. Um, but let me explain to you what it's actually collecting. So back on our test device here, if I open File Explorer and we navigate to C Program Data, Microsoft, Intune Management Extension, Logs. So this is the actual log that it's going to pull. It's gonna take this entire Actually, this entire directory, compress it and, and give it to us there. But this kind of makes you think, if we know the location of the logs where Intune is going to go grab them, what's to stop us from writing our own logs there? Nothing. So what I'm going to do is I am going to write a very, very simple, uh, we'll call it a script app. Okay, so I am going to, let's make this really simple. We're gonna say uh, choco path equals C program data chocolatey. And we're gonna say if choco path, so if it exists, we're going to write host chocolatey is already installed on the device. We're gonna say install chocolatey. But if not, we'll do message equals message failed to install chocolatey. So what we're gonna do is in the very beginning, we're going to make a transcript file. So we're gonna start transcript and we're gonna say the path is C program data, Microsoft, Intune management extension logs, All right? So this is the same location, remember from the other device where the Microsoft logs are, right? We're just gonna put that as our log path. So then when we do that, we can say verbose. Uh, oh, actually I forgot to put the file logs dot and we could put this my log name dot log. And then at the end, we'll just do a stop transcript. All right, so just for kicks, I'm gonna package this into an Intune app and let's go put that in Intune. All right, so this was not that exciting. I took the script, packages, packaged it as an app and set it to deploy. For some reason, you wanna know how to do that. I have plenty of videos on the channel showing you how to package stuff. Okay, so I have a device here. We're gonna to go to the company portal and we're gonna grab this really nothing of an app, but we're just gonna watch it install and hopefully generate some logs. Okay, so it says my installation failed. Whatever. Uh, we are gonna go look in that location. Microsoft Intune Management Extension Logs. But take a look at this. I got something called my log name now. And that's in here, okay? So Chocolatey is already installed. So for whatever reason, I didn't write the script or the app correctly. It doesn't matter. It failed. It's no good. Um, when I go to this device now, we're going to collect diagnostics. Uh, 
And now when this gets uploaded, it's going to grab everything in here, including my log, right? So whatever you're going to write, whether it's a script or an app, and you're going to output something somewhere. This is a great way to do uh, the logging. All right. So with them being complete, we're going to hit complete and download. Okay, so now that we have that, we're going to open that up. Let's extract it so we can look inside. All right, so if we go to our folders, we see the Intune Management Extension logs. And take a look, we're able to get our custom log delivered remotely. It's such a simple thing, and I wish I thought of it sooner. But no, it makes a lot of sense because oftentimes we're not going to get what we want from looking at Intune and the app results if something failed. So as long as you're adding this to all your scripts and apps, even if it's a command line thing, right? Like L, asterisk, Q, whatever it is, you know, the little command line for logging. If not, I'm sure I'll come back and talk about it. But you can put it in there so that when you go collect those diagnostics remotely, you get everything you want, even your own custom stuff. So hopefully that makes sense. Maybe it helps out with a lot of things and we'll be seeing you.